Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in the middle of filming a foundation review for the by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. If you've not already seen it, I will link it on screen for you because it should have already gone up by now. I'm going to film the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do a voiceover for it because I feel like I want to get my makeup done as quick as possible so I can get on with the review. So without any more hesitation, let's get on with today's tutorial. So as I've done my foundation, I'm going to move on to eyebrows. I'm using a new product by Benefit. This is called Fluff Up Brow Wax. This is similar to the iconic London Liquid Brow Silk. This is a flexible brow texturizing wax, so it does have that flexibility. For me, it doesn't hold quite as well as some of the others. You'll see when I'm doing my eyes up close that some of my little hairs have sort of dropped a little bit. But if you want a brow wax that gives you some texturizing lift but isn't like the laminated effect, then give this a go. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Patrick Tarte Major Dimension Palette. This is a £12 palette that comes with luminous cream bases that you can apply underneath your eyeshadow. It has velvety mattes, iridescent metallics and glistening pearl toppers. On a large eyeshadow brush, I'm taking the shade Divine, which is a warm toned light peach. It is a semi matte finish. You'll see that it has that creamy matte, but it also has that beautiful sparkle. If you're slightly more mature and you're concerned about wearing anything too shimmery, this eyeshadow is definitely for you. It would be so good if you could get this as a single. This is definitely one I would purchase as a single eyeshadow. I've placed that over the mobile lid and on the inner corners of the eyes. Next I'm taking this shade called Transition which is a very warm toned light brown and using that same brush to apply this, this is going in a C shape on the outer third of that mobile lid and just into the socket line. If you're wondering this brush is by Zoeva but I do believe it's only available on their website. I'm then going in with a MAC 286 Synthetic Blending Brush and I'm buffing that transition shade out towards the brow bone so it's a nice gradient from that socket line. I'm going to show you it from this angle as well just in case you are looking to perfect the placement. So even if you have hooded eyes you can do this with your eye looking down into a mirror and then when you look up you can also pat over the same area so that it goes on the fold of the lid as well as when you're looking down. And then just go in and blend that out towards the brow bone. Then just look forward straight into a mirror to make sure both eyes are nice and even. Going back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm taking this shade called Abundance, which is a warm toned light peach sparkle finish. And I'm popping this on with my finger just on the center of that mobile lid. This really does catch the light and make this part of the lid look so much bigger. It's a great tip if you have slightly smaller eyes or your eyes are hooded and you want to draw attention to the mobile lid to make it look bigger. This next one is a cream eyeshadow and it's called Woman and it's a warm toned medium dark brown. It is a matte finish but it's super super creamy. So we're going to pop this along the top eyelash line and this is going to act as a base for the eyeshadow that we're going to apply over the top and these really are quite incredible. I normally dismiss these in a lot of the palettes because they don't have a very good payoff and they remain slippery but this almost dries down and when the eyeshadow is on it it's not going anywhere. So this is nice for a daytime occasion because you can really soften it out or you can make it a bit fuller and it's nice if you don't particularly get on with creating precise liquid liner and you want something that's kind of soft with the eyeshadow finish. If you don't like your eyes to look particularly red then you'll definitely want to top this with a darker cooler brown because both this one and the other brown are quite warm toned. The shade I'm going to top this with is called Scandal. Slightly warm toned, dark brown. Over the top, it creates this really nice, deep, rich, chocolatey brown. And I'm pushing this in place with a small brush. And you'll find, as I said, once you've kind of merged these two together, they are not going anywhere. They lasted all day long. Along my waterline, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Sepia Ink. I'm painting that along the waterline with an eyeliner brush and you can see it's really opaque. What I would say is allow yourself to blink a few times, let it set in place and then just do a second layer and that way you know it's going to last all day and it will be really opaque. I'm just using my Refa eyelash curlers to give my lashes a little bit of lift. We are going to be applying some falsies on the front of our eyelashes so having this lift will help make sure that those ones are lifted as well. Before we apply our mascara, we're going in with a little bit of the Scandal shade underneath our lower eyelashes. You can see it comes out a little bit warmer here because we don't have that cream eyeshadow underneath. However, if you want it to match, you can apply a small amount of the cream eyeshadow first, then apply Scandal. I don't mind the contrast between the two. 
I haven't set underneath my eyes so it really does help when you use your finger just to soften it into that makeup. I'm still using my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Full Volume Mascara. I've been loving this and the more you wear it and the more the air that gets into that tube, the more I'm enjoying using it because it really does apply a nice amount to those lashes, keeping them quite separate but giving you volume and it wears so well throughout the day. I also break it down with just water and then I use a makeup cloth just to remove the remaining amount on my lashes so it's really nice and easy to remove too. Next I'm going in with the Lash Base Pro FX Textured Lashes. You've seen me use these before, if you haven't I will link the tutorial in the top right corner for you. These go underneath your natural lashes, they are super affordable, they're the most natural and comfortable that I've ever worn. And if you want to try them for yourself you are more than welcome to use my discount code. My code will get you 10% off and I have a different code for the US to the UK but I will link both of those below for you. Now I've applied those, I'm just doing a small coat of mascara on my lower eyelashes before moving back onto the face. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am testing this foundation, so I'm not applying any concealer today, this is just the foundation, and I'm setting it with a light amount of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Here I'm taking a small amount of the Kevin O'Quan Contour Powder and just dusting a small amount down the sides of my nose. It may look full on to begin with, but trust me, if you go in with the same sponge that you applied your foundation with and bounce that over the top, it will create such a soft finish and it will almost look invisible. It would just have a very slight shadowed effect, which is what we want when we're applying contour. This was one of the other purchases I made from Makeup by Mario, but as you can see, as I was lifting it off the actual casing came apart and that was really disappointing so not only was everything delayed in the post it was also broken thankfully the makeup product itself was fine and their customer service team are sending me a replacement so all is fine all is well so taking that powder bronzer i'm dusting that around my hairline and also along my cheekbones to very softly sculpt if you're going out in the day or you have a special occasion you want your makeup to look very soft I also purchased this cream blush by Makeup by Mario and this is in the shade Pale Petal which is very unlike me to opt for a pink but I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go and it's so beautiful especially if you work it onto the back of your hand first so that you're only applying a very light veil. It does give you a beautiful dewy finish but very very natural at the same time. And then this week I received some new lip shades from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their lip gloss in soft pink and I thought that would go beautifully with the subtle pink tones on the cheeks and it really is so comfortable to wear and this is the finished look. This is perfect for any daytime event or a special occasion where you need your makeup to look polished but also still very natural. I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel. Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye guys!